Hi everybody, my name is Nadia and basically I've been out and done a haul um, over the past couple of three weeks I've just been buying bits and bobs um, and I just wanted to show you the one with you um, we've got number seven, we've got the body shop we've also got some face masks, I also went to B&N and there's a lot of products and I didn't spend an awful lot. I've also got some Mac, so um, I just thought I'd give you an overall run. I know I look a bit run down, but I'm not pandering to the masses to wear makeup every time I want to vlog or blog, whatever you want me to call it. Um, I'm not subscribed by any of these companies that I've mentioned. I've paid for this all out of my own money. Um, and basically, and basically, it is a case of these are what I personally like. So, hope you enjoy them. And first of all, I'm going to start off with being then really boring, but needed some black pens, so really boring, but. When you need them, you need them. 99p for eight four pound pens. Can't go wrong. So, that's that. But then I also went into there and I got this basket set. It's gorgeous. It's woven fabric. It's really nice. And for a box this size, yeah, 3 99 Now, that's really good but then when you turn it over it's actually a set of three for 3 99 so I know it was in the sale but I was like I can put my blushes in here I can put my concealers in here I can put my eye palettes in the big one so that I can actually see what I've got because I have got makeup so you know so that's that one and they're really sturdy as well. I um, think I'm going to go back and get a couple more because I'm hoping that I could quite stack them if possible. I'll find a way to stack them. So, anyway, that's from BM. Um, and I don't think there's anything more to say about that. So, anyway, so I also went to Mac and I picked up. The, it's called Craving. Now I've got a lot of matte lipsticks and if my other video hasn't gone up basically I do like my matte lipsticks and basically they really are affecting the top of my lip from wearing them. Um, so it's not, I'm not just saying it's matte because I do do Kiko I do Sephora, you know, and they're really starting to chap my lips, so I tend to buy a lot of chap products as well. So anyway, back to the matte colour. So I got the Charm. Did I say Charmed? Or was it something else? Sorry, Craving. So I got Craving because it's a nice sheen, and I'm just going to colour swatch it for you, which I don't mind. And I don't just it's like a burgundy red colour and it is so nice just I'll put it on my lips why not look it's just so it really is gorgeous I know I've got no makeup on but you know And I just thought so that I can get keep some moisturiser in at least. I have got MAC and not just matte, but I just wanted something while I was in the shop getting colour tested and by looking at the new products and at least now I can order online because I know my colour shade, which was I was finding a really big problem with MAC because um, I haven't got foundation or anything like that from there I've got 
probably about 30 lipsticks because I can pick a colour that I like but foundation you've got to be pretty unclear to what you are so sometimes I'm quite pale and other times I'm not so um, so yeah anyway we'll get back to the lip pencil that I brought which is in heroin and um, basically I've got the lipstick and love it and I do love MAC lipstick lip pens so and I'll just swatch it for you just there and although they're slightly different I was advised at the counter that although yes you can match your lipstick with your lip liner you don't have to it'll give it a bit a different outer edge so I was like oh I don't have to stick with red with red and burgundy with burgundy I can actually be a bit funky and they do go really well one's a bit pinky and one's a bit burgundy but together you know with the lipstick on top I'm hoping anyway I'm not putting it on now so so yeah so that was, that's what I bought from MAC I don't go in there all the time I think some, some of the products aren't worth money um, they are shadows are rubbish I've got a couple of palettes don't like them there's nothing to them so after there I went into the body shop now the body shop had a promotion on where basically you get three products which was a body wash the perfume to match and did I say sorry I went into I went into the body shop afterwards and they were doing the sh shower gel, a perfume and a moisturiser for £15. So I was like, but I don't really use shower gel because I have got a lot, I mean a lot of Lush, um, I do like my Lush and also I've started going to a company called Fortune Cookie that also sends out everything that you need um, for things. So what I thought was, is I don't want the body wash, uh, shower gel and the body cream, yeah. but I do like the body mist, so, because I've already got one, so this is the one that I got which is strawberry shower, yeah. Now, like I said, they won't let me exchange this because this is something like £4. And I was like, okay, can I swap the body moisturiser for the body mist? And this was actually dearer than the body lotion. And they went, yes. As long as I was willing to accept it without the packaging. Who wants a bag when you're going to get what you actually physically want for cheaper? So I also got this, the strawberry body mist. And I just, you know, when you get up in the morning and you're just dossing like I am now. You know, just to give me a bit of an awakening fresh before I go and get ready or I go and do something. I just squirt this. And I, my other bottle that I have got, I, it's probably about here now. And I've only had it since just before Christmas. But I just pick it up as I walk past my dressing table because it's just sat on there. The dressing table is where the mirror is, where all the clutter is in one corner. So I uh, do try to hide it but I can't. So yeah, so I got that, but then I also, which was £7.50, and then I got the strawberry, strawberry uh, de toilette, so basically, toilet water as I call it, 
because perfume smells so much nicer, so much stronger, it lasts longer. But I thought at least if I wanted to wear this, I'd put this together and it's going to make it so much stronger. So much stronger. And then I got the shower gel and I paid £15. But them two alone are £15 because that's £7.50 and £8.50. So actually it's £16. If my calculations are right, I'm not too sure. So, but anyway. And then, like I say, the body wash. Well, I might just dip that away for a present for somebody's birthday. My daughter's are at an age of 19, 20 odd, so you know, nice little bang it in a box for them for birthdays, Christmas, whatever. They love it because my kids do love things that I love, so it's quite easy to buy for me and they get. So, so that was the body shop. So, then I went to it's called Superdrug, and basically. I was after, what was I after when I was in there? Oh, the Colgate new toothbrush. Now I did see it in Boots, I'll show you my Boots like in a minute. I did see it in Boots, it was £12 and I was like, for just a plain toothbrush and the whitening stick, it's £12. Well, I don't mind paying three or £4 for a toothbrush. But I'm not paying £12 just to get a normal toothbrush and a whitening stick when I know, I know it's a new release and it's not going to be long before they just do the whitening stick. So I'm going to wait because I do suffer with it because I do drink a lot, a lot of tea. So, um, so anyway, that's sort of getting off the track. So as I was saying before, I suffer with a lot of chapped lips. So I brought another one of these. The Car Carmex lip balm, and to start off with, I was like, "No, nah, it don't get me wrong; it's got a really not a nice taste to it." But once you warm it up, and you have to really warm it up to make it moisturiser, it is so effective. It does sting, but my lips in the morning because I generally put this one on at night, um, was, it's just amazing. I can still, my lips and there's, there's no dryness, there's no cracking. So anyway, basically I brought this because I'd originally bought one from Boots for £4 or £3.98 I think it was. And in Superdrug, £1.86 I'm saying. I could be totally wrong, but I know it was like half the price. So I got that. Um, my daughter suffer with mo moisturising um, on her face. So I got her the big bottle and it came with a little free bottle on top. So she's had the big bottle and I thought I'd give the little bottle a go. Why not? Here comes the animals. Sorry about this. So... After that, we've got another lip balm. I told you I like my lip balms. So this is lemon cheese cake. Don't know what it tastes like, or what it smells like, but it was, I think, about 69p. So, obviously, I know it's going to smell of lemons. Oh, nice seal on it. That's nice. So, and then... That worked, didn't it? Well, anyway, when I get around to open it, I will let you know. But I can imagine it smells of lemon. So, but for 69p, it's worth a go. So, um, like I say, it is lemon cheesecake. So that was that. And then I've wanted some face masks. Sorry, my dog's down there. She's annoying me. <laughs> So I wanted some face mats, so I decided to get one of these peppermint ice cream cleansing. There's the dog. Peppermint ice cream cleansing face mask. 
again, it was cheap. I just thought that I'd um, try it. So, so I bought it. So I'm trying it. And then I also got two collagen mask and a spa e vitamin one. These were a pound each and I've seen people use them on eBay and I've got another one on top of the pile and I thought well pamponite you know hands face feet pamponite yes so I thought I'd give that a go and also while I was in there I saw this glimmer compact now, I don't know how good they're going to be, but for £1.69, I was like, if I don't like it, I don't like it. So, but you've got all the different layers, so we'll swatch each layer. I'll try anyway. So... Yeah, so te technically there's not, sorry about that finger it's burnt, there's not a lot of payoff. See, that's the top one, that's the next one down, and that one is the next one down. But I can imagine, once you've swirled them all together, like so, that looks, that looks so much nicer. And I think more is like a highlighter. So, and that is really doing it. So, I'll give that a go and give you a review on it, I think. Let you know how that went. So, once I put my makeup on and, you know, the day begins tomorrow. Stop it, baby. And then the next one I also got was a different colour. I think it's the darker colour. Um, cause I've got the, they are slightly different. So, um, yeah, this is dark. This is medium. So, I was right. So, I suppose if you wanted to use this more as... That's the dark -est. Sorry, it's really hard to get into these. That's the next colour. But, again, I suppose if you swirled them all together... Ooh, when I've got a bit of a tan, that would look absolutely amazing. Do you know what? Even with my colouring now, and I've got no makeup on, yeah, I might have to go. And it's not as intense as this side. I think I think the light's a little bit bright. Uh, try turning that light off. Try and make it a little bit. I think. Look, that's more like a bronzing highlight. That's more of a highlight, I think. So yeah. 169 169 it's worth a go so and then I also got from the daily all-in-one blemish balm by pure this was literally sat on the counter it was 169 and I was like gonna try it not tried it before it's light coverage so as I am now I look a bit daft with two different color highlights on but as I am now Light seems to be the colour that I have to go to. So, let's just give it a bit of a test, she said. Oh, and I think it might actually have a seal on it. Yes, because everything goes through seals on now. I'm not going to put it back in. I'm just, oh, that's a lot. That would do my entire face twice over. <laughs> so, so that's what it looks like anyway. So it's BB cream. Now, that's the blob that just came out. So 
obviously I wouldn't be using that much I'd probably only be using a little bit because I think even this is a little bit dark yeah definitely a little bit too dark but I could make it work, put a bit of moisturise in it and Bob Junkle. Just gonna get the wet wipes by the way. Be right back. Just wiping off. So that's that. I'll give it a go, see how it goes. Don't look too bad. Now I've check my mirror. Yeah, so let me just check my mirror just to actually see how bad it looks. Do you know what? That isn't actually, and I do love that highlighter. It looks really nice. I know it might be a bit glowy because I've got my, um, it's, I suffer with sad, so I have a daylight that I have to use so I'm sort of using that as a backlight I suppose you'd call it so that's that anyway so that's the BB cream so that was what I got from there my boots <gasps> boots I love my boots I'm sorry don't care what anyone said boots in in England boots is one of the best places to go for getting your deals so I got I basically got three of the Soap and Glory body butters so turn it around so you can actually see what it's called and and it was on offer to buy, buy two, get one free. So although it's £20, a lot of, prod, lot of product for your money to start off with. And I'll open one, use one, open the other one, use one. So basically, um, oh, this smells so, and it means so nice. This has got in it lime, a new lime. You can smell the lime in it, it's so nice. And after a bath, even if halfway through the day you just want something to pep you up, as I say, can't go wrong, really can't. And I, to be honest, I've not tried Soap and Glory, although I've, everybody I know has raved about it. Um, but I've tried little samples on my hands and they just came up so nice. This one is the smoothie, the lightly whipped. Sorry, that one was the sugar crush. This one is the lightly whipped smoothie. Now this reminds me of Marzipan for some reason. Doesn't say smell, but I can smell marzipan. It is so nice. So, so nice. So nice. So nice. <laughs> Sorry, just it's too early in the morning for me. I should be asleep. So then the next one I got, which was the righteous but butter. And it says, lost that rubbing feeling, why not try the righteous butter? So, why not? I'm going to try it. So, nah. This is a perfumey scent. And you can actually put this on damp skin, so that would be really nice. After your shower, just slightly pat yourself and moisturise. So, I think that one would be kept in the bathroom because that would probably get used more when I've had a shower. So, 
so yeah like I say they were, they were my bargains so I also then got these are like my I got some face masks and again I got I wanted some peel off because but I wanted it in a tube and you, you used to get it years ago but for some unknown reason they've stopped doing it and you have to buy these silly silly sachets now and I'm just like I'll give them a go so I got this these are called seventh heaven so I got the cucumber peel and I'm gonna get some cucumber slices put them on my eyes and see how that one goes this is the I've got two of these ones these were the passion peel off no I'm not sticking passion fruit on my eyes I'm sorry but but I'll probably do one or two with you at some point over the, the next few months or so and then I've got the manuka honey peel off and I've got two of these because like I say it was Five, £4 for five which I thought get one free then so that was them also from Boots and then I also got um, my colossal eyeliners uh, mascaras sorry I also got my colossal eye I also got my colossal mascara now I've been using this for years. It is the one stable mascara that I like to have in. And I just went out and started to use the stretchy one that is in one of my tutorials. And um, basically, these are the ones that I really, really like. So that stretchy one is nice, don't get me wrong. I will be using that still but these give me more because I if you look I'm quite sparse and blonde and I've got nothing underneath my eyes apart from a few specks of them so yeah so you'll probably be seeing these in a lot of makeup tutorials because these are my stable ones that I go to so that was that and then I also got the Dream All Luminate Torch because they were on 3 for 2 again so that's what I did got 3 for 2 because they didn't have enough of mascara otherwise I would have picked up another one but they didn't so I thought ah, I'll try this I've got it in a zero so it should be Says when the product eventually comes up. Oh, that's that's so light for under my eyes. That is really nice. So you know you pat that out and that would look beautiful because it does suffer really bad. So I better swipe at this and a. A little bit goes a long way. Get a lot of bang for your buck. You know what? I'm just gonna end up looking. Look, from here, from a minute ago, and that was just a swipe and a tap. So, oh yes, I am really liking this. Obviously, I've got lots of different makeup on now, so I'm looking a bit like a clown, but. You know, at least it gives you an honest review on no makeup face of what you're going to get. And like I say, these were six ninety nine each. You bought two, you get one free. Now I'm really glad they didn't have two of these, another third one of these now. Now I've got this because that's really nice. So I will be trying it out in a tutorial I'll let you know how it goes uh, you'll know if I like something because I will constantly wear it obviously and then I also got the infallible in the light to medium 
these again were 6 99 three for two. I got three of them. Um, one for my daughter and the third one I gave to a friend because I don't, I don't need a spare one and my daughter's not going to need one and my oldest doesn't use it at all. So, but it's the L'Oreal Sculpt. So, it's a creamy consistency and I'm going to do that on a different hand because I wipe that off actually. Try again. It's really creamy so I don't know if I will like this. It's worth a try I suppose. Oh it dries straight away. Not as dry as dry but you know you can still but look, you can still literally, basically, not rub it away, but rub it away. So that's the dark side, so obviously for your sculpting um, and your contour. And then for your light contour, where you want it, which I don't generally do a lot of. I'm more of just here, here and to darken my um, thingy up. And that is... The light shade just there so it's your t-zones in your nose and people contour down here and do the nose so let's just do my nose just for the sake of it I told you I was going to look like a car but can't really give you any reviews on it until I've actually tried it worn it tested it so we'll be doing that I will be doing that so then I also got some which was recommended to me because um, last week I started to get a few like dry, dry areas and I wanted something that I could just nip into the bathroom and wash my face now I have been using like I said a lot of lush stuff um, because my skin is literally normal, it's not oily, it's not dry. I don't know where the dry patch came from. I don't know whether it was something that I put to test on my face that made it come out. But I can normally wear anything and I don't break out. So, so I got the simple face wash just to stick in the bathroom. Not for the shower, just to wash my face in the morning and at night. And then, same as well. Simple. Because I know I don't, I'm not allergic to these. I should be fine with that. So I got that. And then I also got this St. Ives Fresh Skin Advocado Scrub. And the reason why I wanted this one is because it is literally so thin thick it's like and it's got so much scrub in it that I feel like and it smells so nice that I can exfoliate as well so I've got exfoliating stuff uh, in the shower um, but I just wanted something on the bathroom sink um, rather than having to keep nipping into the shower to get my stuff to wash my face and then put it back in the shower. You know, ladies understand what I mean. So, and then also, I don't know, you know, everybody is on about, I'm going to have a drink because I'm absolutely thirsty, so. Is the Nivea Double Effect Eye Makeup Remover. So it advertised on TV. I was like, yeah, and I bet that is a load of cod's wallet. And do you know what? It's the best, best. It's better than simple. It's better than Nivea. Did not this Nivea, another Nivea I've got. It's better than um I'm trying to think of the other ones that I've got. Um Avon, it's better than the 
boots one which is just here um this one's nice after you've used this just to use as a like a moisturizer but this is three in one um it's kept on my table in here because some days i just want to just freshen my face up so that's why it's in here um and no word of a lie i've only used about that much out the other bottle two cotton pads and all I do is just chuck it on two cotton pads, slap it on my eyes, hold it there for about 30 seconds and then I wipe it away and the only thing that I was left with, I wiped all my face mate, that uh, eyebrow came off my lipstick, all of my makeup and I was literally left with a little black line under your eyes from my eyeliner and then all I do because obviously I turned the cotton pad over so I'm using both sides and literally bent them in half and just give it a little because that it does feel a little bit rough when I have to do that but obviously with waterproof mascara that's what you have to do and also with waterproof eyeliner so but not as hard, half as harsh as some of the things that I have used and basically I've just gone in and done that done that and I'm done so and then that's when I take number seven and just use that more as a cleanser toner so and that softens my skin up so um, so yeah so I bought another one of these can't recommend them enough you know everybody's going on about these bio or bio um, cellar waters and I'm not, I've not given them a go myself personally, but I was so impressed, so, so impressed that second bottle, second bottle, got to be good if I buy a second bottle. So, and the last thing that I brought is, I bought two nail varnishes from number seven, and basically I put this nice glittery, oh, it's like, I think as you can tell by my bedroom I like a bit of purple sparkle so that'd be nice on a blue, on a pink, on a purple so I had that one and then I saw this one it was on its own poor little thing so I felt so for it but I must say with number seven it, they are so pigmented, pigment. They are so pig. They've got so much pigment in them that you know. I'm not saying on all of the colours, but probably 95% of the colours, you can do one coat and top coat. And you get the colour that's in the bottle. So this is why I really do like it. But because I bought these, if you buy two things from Boots, and these were £7 each, so I know it's a little bit expensive for nail varnish because I know I can get cheaper. But like I say, it's one coat, it don't take so long to dry, blah, blah, blah. You know, and you do get a lot of bang for your buck. I, but I also got a free gift. Now, as you can see, not opened it. I do know what's inside of it. And it's a step into spring box. But I will open it. And basically, all you have to do, I think, is while the promotion's on, is go into Boots, basically pick up two items, and you get this box. And in this box, you get a nice little package. You get... I can sort it. it begins with the, the match well I've already colour match there so um, and then you've got the beautiful dry, dry skin so like I was saying that bit that I had I thought that would be perfect because I didn't want to buy a full size bottle so and the full size bottles you're talking nine between nine and twelve pound so that's nearly the price of the two nail varnishes 
and then you get a miniature mascara. I've got quite a few miniature mascaras because I do generally go for bargains. So, but this one is the Lovely Lash for Glossy Natural. Oh, look at that little baby wand. That is so cute. So, I might have to give that one a go because if I like it, I'll be going to buy it. So, that's that. And then you get a little eyeshadow, which is in a nice taupe colour. Just put it in a swatch. And look, you can't go wrong. I'm sorry, but this is a free gift as well. So, you know, with these, two, the, obviously, you, this is a sample size, but you think what you get in a palette it's a sample size of that colour. So, you know, and then the last thing you get is a strength and growth treatment now for years I've I've been now I mean for years I've used sorry for years I've used acrylic nails and with this I would literally just I'm trying to grow my nails to be natural again um so at least with this give it a go don't work, don't work. At the moment I'm using Sally Anson's um, but they keep getting, I haven't quite got past to all the grooves and the marks from because it takes about six months to a year to actually get your nails back to your normal self once you've bought them. So give it a go. So anyway, that's my little makeup haul. I know it's going to be a long one so I'm really sorry but I just wanted to do it to show you that, you know, you haven't got to spend a lot of money. And I haven't spent this all in one day. I have done this over a few weeks. And obviously, obviously I haven't tried them because I've already got, got stuff that I'm using. Um, but I also want to wait until I was on camera and have my confidence to do it. So basically, I'm just hoping that you all like this. Hit subscribe if you do, and the like button, and there'll be more of these. I'm, I will probably come back at a later date, probably with empties or something like that to say whether I enjoyed it. If I don't enjoy something, it'll be in the empties anyway, because I do, if I don't like it, Unless I can't give it away, then it'll go in the empties. If it goes away, I will make a note and then let you know that I didn't like it and why I didn't like it and why I don't use it. So anyway, enough of my rambling. Hope everybody has a good day. And um, thank you all for watching. Oh, and I'm not affiliated with any company. I'm just stressing that. So please don't leave any negative sort of comments below. They're not needed today. There's enough negativity in the world. So, um, but hope you hit subscribe. I'd love to carry on doing this, but I'm going to carry on anyway. So, um, I just find there's so much stuff that people don't really look for, and you can get some bargains if you haven't. So thanks ever so much for watching and again hit subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.